Breaking news, guys. Tension escalates as Northerners call for Simon Ekpa's immediate arrest after uh, he issued threat to Nigerian uh, Senate President Godun Okbabio. Okay, guys. Uh, things is actually getting out of hand. There is much panic in, in the country right now concerning this Simon Ekpad Biafra declaration come December. Okay. And the uh, Nigerian government is now seeing it that if Simon Ekpad is not apprehended now, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to contain, you know, these uh, Simon Ekpa's uh, uh, SS is according to uh, Northerners who have said the the only way to get Simon Ekpa done, to turn it down for this step, you know, he's taken right now, is for him to be repatriated back to the country. Now this is where the problem lies. This is where the problem lies. Nigerian government, it's not that they have not tried. They have tried every possible means to make sure that Simon Ekpa is repatriated back to Nigeria, just like what they did to Namdi Kanu. Okay, uh, it's not working for them. No luck for them. Okay, they they they've gone through European Union. They've gone through Finland government. Okay, the Finnish government, you know, rejected Nigerian government request to repatriate Simon Ekpa. Even the vice president of Nigeria have had meeting with the with the president of Finland. The same matter, okay. Simon Ekpa is a, a a kind of big bone for the Nigerian government to crush because they think that the way they play the game of uh, Mazenam the Kano and all that 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 is how he's going to happen. Record that Mazenam the Kano, you know, was apprehended in African country. You trust all these. African uh, leaders, they have their way of doing things. So right now, Nigerian government is stuck. Um, not to talk of now, Simon Ekpa, according to the Nigerian government, that is being backed by some foreign um, world leaders who are now investing support for Biafra freedom. So this is where Nigerian government is really scared. Now the question is, how are they going to stop this? You see, one thing is... Uh, when you meet some certain things, it's going to take you another years, long time for you to address that simple thing that you missed. I think that is just what Nigerian government is battling from, for right now. The biggest mistake they ever made is to, you know, arrest, or can I say, kidnap Enam de Kano. You get now... They are not finding it difficult right now to control Simon Ekba. Yes, they are not finding it very difficult. Because if they have, you know, dialogued with these people at least, sit down in a round table and, and talk, I don't think by now they should be in this very position right now. Things, is, things are actually getting out of hand. Okay, coming back to Nottingham, saying that, they can no longer, you know, control Simon Ekpa's excesses. That Simon Ekpa should be repatriated back to Nigeria, just like what they did to Mazenam the Kano. And this uh, happened after Simon Ekpa issues threat to the Nigerian Senate President, uh, Godwin Okbabio. In a shocking turn of events, Ekpa openly declared his intentions regarding Nigerian Senate President Godwin Okbabio who is currently leading a delegation to India. And this troop is viewed as a response to the controversial December 2nd, uh, December 2nd declaration, okay, in the Southeast. Simon Ekpa said, the Tortis head, criminal Senate president of Babio, have already been defeated initially and finally. The spiritual smoke have finally defeated the criminal. Uh... Guinea, genuine Biafrans worldwide shout Wutu Wutu to the enemies of Biafra, <laughs> Wutu Wutu to the tortoise head of Babu. The smoke from India, where the prime minister comes from, have defeated the criminal of Babu and to the enemies of Biafra. So, this is exactly the reason why the Northerners are saying if uh, Simon Ekpa is, uh, is allowed, 
what they were afraid of will eventually come to pass. You know how they are vested for Mazina Mikano's arrests and uh, uh, making sure that Biafra, those who are agitating for beer friends are, you know, contained by arresting the ones they arrested and the ones when they died, the ones that they disappeared like that. So Simon Ekbai is a kind of big problem right now to Nigerians. So guys, how do I see this matter? Because this matter now, you don't need to come off or be careful. Even Nigerian government never thought that this will come, things will come, you know, this far with Simon Ekba, you understand? So the issue is not even arresting Simon Ekba and bringing him back to Nigeria because even when they do that, it's not still going to stop it. It's not still going to stop Biafra agitators. That is what I mean. It's not going to stop it. So Nandi Kanon was arrested. Okay, let's start for Rufai Mazurike. You know, the Tilda one, he stopped the agitation. Nandi Kanon, you know, grew from nowhere and he, 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 he came out, he came up even stronger than a Rufai Mazurike. Now they apprehended Mazinam the Kano, the uh, extra honor renditioned him from Kenya to Nigeria, thinking that that way we end all the Biafra struggle. Simon Ekba have risen. So you see, if the Nigerian government also arrests Simon Ekba, another Simon Ekba is going to stay, come up tomorrow. So it's not just arresting Simon Ekba, he's addressing issue on ground. What, 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 why are people agitating in the Southeast? And what is making them say they are no longer interested in Nigeria? I think that is what Nigerian government should be concerned of. They understand, address this issue and everybody go fine, last, last. So guys, at the drop out for here, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today.